I'll hold on to 10. Oh, wait, no, no, I, I did that wrong. I'll hold on to 10. You can keep the rest. They're all yours. More importantly, right now, it's time to go demonstrate the final. The final. The finalness. It was a mod. I was, I was thinking of the word there, and I couldn't think of it, but it's time for the final mod. Back in Riverwood. Here we go. So, like I said, something that's more ridiculous than exploding arrows that send you flying, something more ridiculous than a giant's club that one-shots fucking everything, something more ridiculous than invisible bitch-slapping people with an invisible ghost sword. What could that be? Well, that could be in none other than the wheelbarrow inside of Riverwood. And I'm not exactly sure what this wheelbarrow is, so we're probably gonna have to go for a little bit of a scavenger hunt for it. So, I'm not really sure where all the wheelbarrows are. I think there's one, like, around... There it is. Actually, here it is, right here. And they really wanted to make sure you knew where it was, so they gave you a ton of them. But we only need one. Majora's Tome of Lunar Guidance. Oh, what happened? You're still on about that. It's a dead yeah, cultist. Probably. Get over it. Everybody, say hello to Majora's Moon. Oh my god. It's time, everybody. I call upon the moon in the land of the dead to unleash thy fury of face. Oh, what happened? <laughs> it's coming closer, isn't it? Any final thoughts, Lydia? Well, we're about to get pretty fucked right now. <laughs> I can't help it. This is the most re- <laughs> And we're dead. We're so dead. Oh, and it happened. Well. <laughs> be careful. Once more. I think that needs to be demonstrated oh, once more. What happened? Oh, what happened? Oh, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened at all. <clears throat> oh, what happened? How about we get ourselves a good view this time? Lydia, you, you might want to run. You might want to run really fast. <sighs> this is the most ridiculous spell. I don't care if it's as flashy as the last one with the explosions. It's fucking Majora's Mask's moon falling from the fucking sky and just obliterating literally, literally everything. Let's give it a nice view. Oh, there it is. I love how the townsfolk get all scared just before it falls, too. This is glorious. This is literally, literally, absolutely glorious. <laughs> it's so stupid looking. <laughs> and then... Ba-boom. We couldn't even get away from it. That thing literally... Kills everything. Doesn't matter. Just blows up. Smiling. The range on that shit is unbelievable. I wonder if I can outrun it. Let's find out if we can or not. Here we go. I might have to go get the help of something in order to outrun it. Yep. Let's go get it. Here we are. And now we should be able to outrun that shit. Hopefully. With any luck. Mm-hmm. All right. We're using it again. Oh, one last time. Because this shit is just fucking ridiculous. Literally, the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever seen all day. All day. I just... I mean, you, you can't tell me that that's not hilarious. All right. One more. 
Horse, you might want to get out of there. Ah, too late. I don't care. Boop. And where you at? Up, oh, wound didn't work. There we go. Much better. I think. Where's the moon at? That's not here. Once more. Ugh. There we go. Oh, my, we might want to run, though. Ugh. 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 Get me the fuck out of here. Get me out of here. I think it has about a 35 second cast time. So, 35 seconds to get the flying fuck out. Alright, now we should be a safe distance. I can't even see the moon anymore. We should be safe here. Alright. Where's the moon at? It's not even there anymore. Alright, hopefully we're safe this time. We'll know if, like, we duck. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here it comes. We'll know if, like, basically a shitload of bounties pop up. Oh my lord. The radius on that shit is unbeatable, man. I might have to, like, teleport out of the area. This is the most worthless Divine spell in the world. The vines don't smile upon me. They sent me this fucking moon, and I can't get away from it. No matter how hard I try. All right. Smile on you, friend. Let's let's de young link this oh. shit. What happened? We're young linking this shit. Come, Epona. Sort of. Oh god, that moon's falling off faster than I thought it would. Oh god. Run, horse. Run. Run, horse. Run. Run, bitch. Run! I don't know what the fuck to say. Like, what other quotes can I say about running? I don't even know if we're safe anymore. We might just be rebels for the rest of our lives, horse. Because Lord knows that moon has a long radius of death. Oh, I think that was the wolf. Keep moving! I think we're safe. I think we're safe. I don't know anymore. We might be. Are we safe? You've literally gotta be kidding me. It's a fucking screen nuke. Not even the horse could get me away from that bullshit. Alright. One last try. One last try. I gotta escape this moon. Oh wait, I have an idea. I know how to escape the moon. Actually, it's very simple, believe it or not. Divine smile on you. As you all know, there's limitations to this mod. It's not like it can blow up buildings, can it? Well, no, it can't. Oh, what happened? So let's not let it blow up buildings. Oh god, that moon's scary. Aha! Find all's house. The best protection there is. Yup, I'll be taking a nap right now. Good night. Ah, well rested. Alright, well, shall we go out, Lydia? Or should we wait? Nah, I think we have to actually wait in game time. Or out game time, whatever the fuck it's called. Alright, so, uh, any games you like, Lydia? We could, we could play Explode the Arrow. Do we have a hunting bow in here? Oh, yes, we do. We could play Explode the Arrow. Alright, let's play. It's a fun game, you know? Alright, here's how it goes. First off, I pull out the uh, Mr. Hunting Bow. Then I pull out these, uh, arrows. And then we play. Yeah! It's a very fun game, indeed. Of course, this doesn't blow me up like the moon. Hmm. That vibration. I think that was it. What? I opened the door at the exact same time I blew up. And thus... Lydia, what just happened? I think we need to wait a little bit longer, because I think the explosion went through the house. Is that even possible, Lydia? Is that even possible? I don't know. I don't know anymore, Lydia. <coughs> oh, my God. Once more, we wait. Lydia, hold my hand. I'm right behind you. I know. Let's get going, then. Let's get going, indeed together.
It fucking goes through the house. My god, they thought of everything. Alright. Well, that proves one thing. Getting away from the explosion does not make it disappear. So, here's the new plan. It's called leave. Leave very fast. <laughs> to white run. Oh, there's enemies nearby. Oh, they're probably pissed at me. God damn it, why'd you guys gotta do this to me? Alright, now we have to leave and uh, fast travel out when there's not enemies nearby. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, there should be... We should be free here. We're not free here, are we? Does that moon cast an enemy? How many moons can I spawn? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> the moon's punching me? You gotta be kidding me. The moon is ha the moon is taking physical shape and it's punching me. And it blew up. I, d I don't know anymore. I don't know. Oh, uh, this is scary. Alright. No more shitting around. For real this time. That moon counts as an enemy. You can't even leave it. Oh, no. This is... Alright. We have to try that again, at least, though. Huh! Oh. Now we're out of here. We're way out of here. Alright. We're good this time. If the moon blows me up in White Run, I literally don't know what I'm doing anymore. Alright. What's up, guys? Not like there's a moon blowing up. <laughs> now no, I won't say anything on fire. No. What are you talking about? You're, you're crazy. <laughs> Lydia, perhaps you should look over the horizon. Because I think there's about to be a really big explosion. Though I'm not sure yet. Well, those poor sods over in Riverwood, they don't even have a wall. Suddenly that has a whole new meaning. Uh, alright, where is it? It's like all the way over there. I fell off the building. Damn it. Alright, where would it be? It would be like somewhere over yonder. We watch and we wait. We're like those people who evacuate the... What? What? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? How big is the fucking range on that moon? This is a joke! How long is that fucking rage? This is... This is not... This isn't for real right now. This can't be for real. The range on that moon is literally the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at this. What has the world become? Oh, I just want to... Wait, what if I become ethereal just before the moon blows up? Oh my god, I figured it out. But how on earth am I going to be able to time that? I just gotta get lucky. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna save right now. Make a new save. And let's try it. Huh. This will let me survive. However, not all these extra moons. Alright, you know what? I need, I need to reload this. And think about this properly. Alright. This is basically all the mods that are important. There was one other mod that you guys haven't seen yet, but whatever. It's the kissing mod. I don't know. I just thought I'd add it for lols and giggles when I get a husband. I can manhandle him. Alright, how long does it take to blow up? I need, I need to learn this. How long do you take to blow up? 55 seconds. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do, guys. Oh, what happened? What happened? A lot of things happened. Here's what we're going to do. I have a timer down there. We're going to time this, and we're going to survive this moon together. This shout lasts about, oh, I don't know, about five to seven seconds. I think I can definitely time this if I'm careful enough. We're going to wait for that time to appear over there. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's 12.38 right now. So if I can wait for it to come 12, 12.39, I'll definitely time it. All right, come on. 
12.39. You gotta come. Gotta come out. Actually, I can't really time this, can I? No, I definitely can't time this. Alright, now! Alright. <laughs> so now I spawn this. I didn't really work this out, did I? No, I didn't work this out. <laughs> I didn't work this out in the slightest. I didn't think about this very well. How on earth am I going to be able to time this? I should have waited a couple seconds. And then, like, if I waited, like, maybe 10 seconds, I could wait for it to turn 1240, and then I could have used it. But because I used it just when it turned 1239, I can't actually gauge it. So, in other words, it's going to be complete and utter luck. In other words, I'm safe. We're just going to have to keep saving and wait for the moon to blow up. Then we'll get a save where the moon's just about to blow up, and then we'll become Anthro. We're going to survive this moon explosion, guys, if it's the damn last thing I do in this game. Alright, we're still alive. So, another save. Keep going, Moon. You're almost there. In fact, I could just pause it and wait for it to come. Like 12:49, or 12:40, or whatever. All right, we're still alive. Keep going. Oh no, it just turned. Fight! That could not have been timed better. Whoa. What just happened? Wow. Everything. Everyone's dead. Wait, what? Who the fuck just said that? What? Someday, I'm going to forge my own sword. How in the holy mother of shit Mama did you survive that? How? 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 There's no logic in how you survive that at all. Literally none. I'm girlish enough, but that's just stupid girl talk. Ain't no Lydia, kill her. Just kill her for me. I'm so angry right now. I can't even say. Just kill her. Like my God, the destruction level on that moon, man. How did you survive? Are you not allowed to be killed? How did the cow survive? What do you want? I don't know. It's my boy Sven you need to listen to. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alright. New logic. We're gonna go to Whiterun. I guess it had. Oh, wait. Oh, I get it. It's because it hadn't loaded the characters. Only the characters that were loaded were blown up. That's why I keep getting blown up and, like, everyone around me keeps getting blown up. Because we were loaded. And I always have to be loaded because I'm a character. That's, like, the main character. So, literally, the only way I've seen to escape the moods, death, and destruction is to become Ethereal. Wow. That's, um. Hmm. <laughs> that's something right there. That spell is literally ridiculous. It's completely worthless, in fact, to be honest. There's literally no use in that. I could dick around for 55 seconds around, like, a really powerful enemy and just become ethereal at the last second, but is that honestly worth it? Is that honestly worth it? And no, it, it really isn't. That's literally just a worthless, stupid, motherfucking spell. And I love it. So, guys, that's all the mod showcasing I wanted to do today. So, uh, when we come back next time for Skyrim, um, maybe we should go do Dawnguard. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. That, that would probably be smart. What the fuck is up here? Oh. Ooh! My hell day. What a way to die. That would be to break the law in my... By order of the Yarl. Stop right there. Hmm. That's my bounty. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'd rather die. Damn it, I missed. Got him. Alright guys, so when we come back next time for Skyrim, we're gonna do Dawn Guard. For real this time, I, I swear it. I swear me mum. And all that fun stuff, yeah. That was literally the dumbest session I think I've ever recorded in my entire life. That trumps them all. Just every single one of them. And I don't just mean Skyrim either. I mean literally just any session ever. Any session of any game I've ever done. All trumped in one fell mod swoop. None of these were useful at all.
like literally none. This chain thing, you know, I'm using it right now without really thinking about it. But yeah, this this one's this one's all right. It's sort of fair. I mean, it's a little cheap <clears throat> against like humans. Not any more unfair than the shield bashing knockover. Let me tell you, that's really unfair. The only thing that's more fair about this one is that it has range. But I mean, you have your shield bash out anyway, so still unfair. Pokey in the butthole. <laughs> you know, we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this stupidity. And, uh, yes, I was in fact going for an hour and 20 minutes. I don't know how that happened. Have a good one, guys. Alright, guys. One last bonus I thought of before I ended this off. What happens <clears throat> if I use Majora's Moon, a lot of them, at the same time? So then when I die they'll all still be blowing up. So maybe my body will just blow up in a bunch of different directions. The law Let's find out. You ready for this, guys? Now, to make it even more ridiculous, I'm gonna pull out my bow. Yep. It's time to go flying, everybody. Oh, yeah. Wait, where's my bow at? Oh, right, I need to go grab it from Sven's house. Son of a bitch. Get inside Sven's house. Get inside Sven's house. I need to get that hunting bow really bad. Please, please, please. And... Safe. Route. That's what I wanted. Also, there was a dwarven sword in the table. I'm not sure what that came from, but whatever. We're out of here. Up, 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 up. Here we go. Okay. So we made that save right there. Here we go. New save. Now we're basically just going to go flying. Bye, guys. Ugh. This is going to be ridiculous. But let's see what happens. Ow! That was a terrible place to land. Because now I'm going to be swept by the river. Come on, get up, Skyrim lady. Get up, Skyrim lady. You have to get up for me. Hit the rock, hit the rock, hit the rock, hit the rock and get up. Hit the rock and get up. Well, that was stupid looking. All right, I did it. All right, come on, get out of here. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Get out of the fucking water. Too slow. Uh. Well, I got comboed. I got super de duper comboed. I want to be flying through the air when this happens, though. All right, we'll wait a little bit. Need to time it just right. And maybe I can get like a different kind of velocity on it. It'd be fun. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Houston, we have lift off. Moon, don't fuck me. And I just land in the water again. Also, oh, wait, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. I timed that terribly. Maybe if I'm underwater, I'll live. Nope. 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 God, it's like that one fucking game. Which one am I thinking of? I don't even know what the hell I'm thinking of. Honestly, I don't know what's going on at this point. Just shit's going crazy. <laughs> Just blow some shit up. And I blew up a poor Alvor. Alright, time to go flying outside of this place. Oh no, that didn't work. Uh oh. I can't leave this place, can I? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Wrong way. Wrong way. Uh Da dum ze Bowser! Oh, I did time it. Timed it. Look at that velocity. Holy shit, I'm still going. <laughs> well, that's all I wanted to do, guys. That's that's literally it. That's that's the entirety of the uh, smart I wanted to do. There is one final thing I wanted to test, though. In all seriousness, White Run and Riverwood, they're pretty close together. Let's go in the complete opposite fucking direction of where I ended off the last session. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Right. Well, let's try this for real. We'll go back to the final save I had, and we'll do this for realsies. For realsy, for reals. Ease. Ease. For real. For real right now. Here we go. All right, moon. Oh. What? Eyes in the moon. Where's the moon at? The moon's right here. Here we go. Actually, I want some like dual moons. There we go. There we go. Now we leave. We're so out of here. Except no, the combat music's playing, so I can't leave. Fuck! I need to run out of town. Oh god. <laughs> Poor rabbit. 
Where the hell is that rabbit going? I'm not sure if the guards are aiming at me just yet. I don't think they are. Hey, look, another moon. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, now if we hop the fence, we might be out of range. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to get pretty far out of range of this moon. I'm not sure if we're still spotted, but hopefully we aren't. Honestly, I could have just used the arrows to escape. Oh, no, we're hidden. Alright, we're out of here. Let's go over as far away as humanly possible, where we ended off the last session. Alright, if this blows me up, I don't even know. Also, this isn't technically where we ended off the last session. We also did that whole shit with the Imperials first. Alright, horse. I think we're safe. Finally! We are so far away from that fucking moon, there's no way it can hurt me at this point. Right, Lydia? Right. I mean, right. Please, please tell me that's right. Please tell me that's right. It's the whole map. It's the whole fucking map. The entire map is the moon's radius of blow. What can I even do to combat that? Nothing. Except become ethereal. That's literally it. That's amazing. Oi. Well, um, that was, that was something. That was something indeed. Fortunately, I don't have any bows, so I can't really go launch it myself. Well, I suppose this is how it ends, eh? I can spawn even more moons. Hey, rabbit, you scared of that moon? You should be. Because there's a shitload of... Ew! That looks really gross. It has, like, two noses, a really defined eyeball, and away we go. Well, at least we survived all the moon explosions that time. So when we really come back next time, we'll do Dawn Guard. I, I promise. I promise. No, we're not going through this bullshit again. We're we're doing Dawn Guard next time. I promise. Have a good one, guys. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. That was crazy. <laughs>